Hi once again, as long as Jim from the online yoga class this morning, welcome. We have a similar class to last week. Um, we'll just turn the lights on and the side's a bit dark, I think, so we'll do that. And so once again, I have a blanket, perhaps, to sit on. You can fold it, they're great for, for height or blocks or blanket or and a towel if you need a want. Take modifications and a rest if you need a want and come back to practicing and joining when you can. So let's begin by standing on the top of your mat. So you're standing on the top of your mat, standing tall, face touching your slightly apart, and come to your breath and breathing in and out of your nose. And the listening of the slight, soft internal sound of the breath just gives you a focus in, a drawing of your lower abdomen slightly in and slightly up. And your upper abdomen is nice, relaxed, moving with the ribs and chest and shoulder blades as you breathe in and out. And perhaps there's a slight awareness of the pelvic floor, slight lift. And this focus of the breath and the lower abdomen, and then including the gaze where you look, is creates this focus, brings you inward. That helps calm and quiet the mind by focusing on one thing rather than going somewhere else and elsewhere and elsewhere. So observe this in your practice. Let's begin. You stay nice and tall. You're starting sun salutes. Wherever you are, take an exhale. Inhale, raising your hands up to the ceiling, and gaze towards your thumbs. And exhale, come to your first forward fold. Your hands come to your thighs, shins, ankles, perhaps the floor. As you inhale, rise, extend your heart forward. And exhale, placing your hands on the floor, walking, stepping. And on this first one, lowering yourself to the floor. Engage your quads. Knees come off the ground, put your toes. And inhale, come into Cobra, Gujarasana. Shoulders back. And exhale. Lowering your knees back to the floor, tuck your toes under, hips to heels, and come into a down dog. Nice easy way to start. Spread your fingers, stay here for five breaths, adjust your feet. Yeah, outside the edge of your feet are parallel to each other, near and up. And you're relaxing your heels towards the floor for three, two more breaths. So inhale for five, exhale, look forward, bend knees perhaps, and inhale, walking your feet towards your hands as you extend, look forward, exhale, fold, inhale, rise, reaching your hands to the ceiling, goes to your thumbs, and exhale, samastiti. So a couple of times, inhale, udvahasasana, raise hands, go to the thumbs, Exhale, Uttanasana, form a fold, gaze the toes. Inhale, lift. Ardha Uttanasana, this half lift. Look forward. Exhale, hands back to the floor. You walk step. Come to the floor or come into this push up position, Chaturanga. Inhale, into upward facing dog. Chest through, shoulders back. And exhale, lifting hips. And come to down dog. Perhaps you adjust yourself for the first breath or so. And come to your breath, the inhale, the exhale, Love and honor the places you've been. your lower abdomen, the awareness there, and gaze down the bridge of your nose, a couple of breaths. So on your exhale, prepare to come top of your mat, look forward, bend knees perhaps, inhale, walk, or step your feet to the top of your mat as you lengthen, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, reaching your hands to the ceiling, gaze to your thumbs. And exhale, summer city. Another one of these. Inhale. Inhale, just breath. Inhale, inhale, gaze thumbs. Exhaling, exhaling, listen to the breath. Exhale, 
inhale. It's a small movement here, so you can move slower as you extend, finish the inhale, exhale, walk, step. You can jump back at any time. That's your practice. Chaturanga Vandasana, inhale, upward facing dog, chest through, shoulders back, and exhale, to a down dog. Take some breaths here. Stretch fingers evenly. Take your weight to your fingers, the length of your fingers, so you've got it all into the palm of your hand. Maybe your knees are bent, that's fine. Perhaps legs are straight. They are internally rotate your thighs. Your sitting bones feel like they're widening and lifting to the ceiling. For another breath. Exhale, prepare to come top of your mat. Inhale, come to the top of your mat as you lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Exhale. Inhale, rise, reaching your hands to the ceiling, back to your thumb. Exhale, summer stitchy, screwing your scar feet. So bend knees and come into this seated position, fierce pose, katasana. Then exhale back to your forward fold. Inhale slightly, rise your heart, look forward, press up to your fingertips. Exhale, walk step, we'll jump back to Chaturanga. Inhale, Mukha Savasana, upward facing dog. Exhale, Adha Mukha, downward facing. And step your right foot forward, so left heel down, step your right foot forward, arms raised into this warrior position, left hip forward as you've got to ground your left heel. Exhale, back to Chaturanga, exhaling, exhaling, inhale up dog, Mukha Mukha, upward facing, exhale, Adha Mukha, downward facing, better step your left foot, so ground your right heel, step your left foot, warrior one, that's the inhale, exhale, hands back to the floor, Chaturanga. Inhale, press through, shoulders back, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Five breaths. Once you're aware of your thighs rolling in, your thighs back, sitting bones up to the ceiling, and straighten your arms and broaden your shoulders away from each other. Four. One more breath. On your exhale, prepare to come to the top of your mat. Walk, step. Perhaps you jump to the top of your mat as you lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend knees, coming to Utkatasana. And exhale, Samasthiti. Just one more time. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, Utkatasana. Inhale, Adha Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Nandasana. Inhale, Uttva Mukha Savasana. Exhale, Adha Mukha. Pair step in right foot. Inhale, Virabhadrasana, Warrior One. Exhale, back to Chaturanga Nandasana. Inhale, Uttva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha. Inhale, left foot steps, right heel grounds. Virabhadrasana, one. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Uttva Mukha, Shrasana. And exhale, Adha Mukha, Shrasana. Five breaths. Come from listening to your breath. Observing your fingers pushing into the floor, your heels relaxing to the floor. These can be bent, as I said, take pressure off your back. Two more breaths. On the next exhale, prepare to come top of your mat. You can walk, step, inhale, walk, step, jump to the top of your mat as you lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale to Utkatasana and exhale Samasthiti. And inhale, step your feet hip width apart, hands to your waist, raise your heart to the ceiling. Let's inhale, moving with the breath. Exhale, folding your waist, hands to your thighs, shins, ankles, 
Perhaps you hold your elbows or palms or sasana, fingers around your big toes. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale to your forward fold. The elbows are out and slightly back. Weight forward towards the balls of your feet. Sitting bones lifting to the ceiling. Your heart forward, perhaps down. The back of your neck long. Two more breaths. Inhale. Inhale, rise. If you're holding your elbows, you swap your elbows around. If you're holding your big toes, repeat, or go deeper. Padahastasana, hands underneath your feet, toes to crease your wrists, and exhale, perhaps still deeper. Slightly deeper forward fold. Once again, a little bit of weight forward of your heels. Extend your heart, shoulders towards your hips. Sitting bones to the ceiling. Last breath. Inhale. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, release your hands to your waist. Inhale, rise. And exhale, feet together, standing atop your mouth. Inhale, step your right foot back, hands out to a T, preparing for chicken asana. Turn your left heel out and right heel in. And exhale, reach. Lower your hand to your thigh, shin, ankle. Perhaps you hold your big toe. More important, draw your shoulders back. So your spine is in line with the center line of your mat. You can look at the floor, perhaps the screen or up towards the thumb. Belly in, heart extends forward and turns up to the ceiling for three. Two more breaths. Lightness that's strong. On exhale, just for your balance, you can look down. Inhale, rise and turn your feet. That's all the inhale. Preparing. Exhale, trikonasana on the other side. Extend hard forward and turn it up to the ceiling. Four more breaths. Shoulders towards your hips. Heart extending long and forward. So you inhale for five. On your exhale, look down, strong legs. Inhale, rise, turn back. A rotating version of Trikonasana. So square your hips, raise your left hand. Exhale, reach forward, place your left hand onto your right thigh. Shin, ankle, perhaps a block. So your left hand is perhaps on the block. On the inside, perhaps some fingertips on the outside or floor. The other hand on the small of your back, or to the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen your heart forward, away from that right hip as it draws back. Look we'll up to the thumb, perhaps looking at the floor. Last breath. On exhale, look down. On inhale, rise. Open your hands to a T, turn, facing the other way, raising your right hand, so your right hip foot forward, and exhale, reaching forward, hand onto your thigh, shin, ankle, block, floor, perhaps on the outside of your foot, and the small of your back, send your heart forward, excuse my back here, inhale, raise the hand to the ceiling. You're creating this length between your heart moving forward, and that left hip back. And there's this relationship between your shoulders and your hips. Three, two more breaths. Inhale. Last breath. On exhale, look down. Inhale, rise. Bring your hands to a T. And exhale, step top of your mat, Samastiti. Slightly longer stance, inhale, step that right foot back, ankles below your wrists, turn left heel out, right heel in, extended side ankle pose, bending that right knee, elbow on your knee, bring your hand forward, perhaps you choose to have a block, pushing your fingers onto a block, perhaps the floor, turn your heart up to the ceiling, or maybe you're here, extended side ankle pose, 
engaging that leg, extending that whole side of the body, turning your heart up to the ceiling. Two more breaths. On your next exhale, you can look down, strong legs, inhale, rise, turn your feet, that's all in the inhale, exhale, into your variation on the other side. The elbows on your knee, go there, the handles on the floor, or block, go there, take your block with you. Look under your armpit, or perhaps towards the hand. Strong with your legs, long extension of the right side now. Two more breaths. Inhale, or five. Exhale, look down. Inhale, rise. And turn the other way. Gently lower your left knee to the floor. So your left knee down, right knee up. Raise that left hand. And exhale, elbow on the outside of the knee. Elbow towards the floor. Bring your arms to the knee. Rotating version of the previous asana. Half to your hands, just coming in up. So perhaps this is where you go. Perhaps you release that hand to the floor. Perhaps you straighten the rear leg. Perhaps the heel comes down. Perhaps the hand to the ceiling. Perhaps you open your shoulders and extend. Or just stay in that first version. So it's more about this rotation of the shoulders compared to the hips. Your heart extends forward. The straightening leg adds a balance and core strength. Two more breaths. On your exhale, look down. Inhale, rise. Hands to a T. And then turn to the other side, gently lowering your right knee. Raise your right hand. Exhale, elbow on the outside of that knee. Hands in prayer position. Come to your same variation. If you raise the rear leg, straighten it, load your hands. We had a hand variation go there. Exhaling for three, two more breaths. Last breath, inhale. Exhale, look down if you look up your hand. Inhale, rise, strong legs. Hands out to a T. And exhale, step top of your mat, summer stitchy. You know, step your right foot back. Look at the screen. Out to the edge of your feet, front of each other. Pazalita. We'll do A, C and D today. Inhale, raise your heart to the ceiling. Exhale, fold. Hands to your thigh shins. Perhaps you choose to have blocks. Maybe hands on the floor. Maybe fingertips on your toes. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, forward, fold. Elbows in. Sit in line with your wrists and your shoulders. Some way forward. Abdomen, lower abdomen, engage slightly. Shoulders to hips. One more breath. Exhale. On inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, release your hands to your waist. Bend knees if you choose. Inhale, rise. Raise your hands to the ceiling, going to version C. So exhale, bring your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers, open your heart, inhale, lengthen them down tall, and exhale. So you yeah, outside of your feet are parallel to each other, you're folding at the hips. Now hands away from the small of your back. Some weight forward, belly in. Inhale for three. Exhale, two more breaths. Last breath. Exhale. Bend knees perhaps. Inhale, rise. Exhale, raise your hands to your waist. Version D. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold the hips, hands to your thighs, shins, ankles, or piece fingers wrapped your big toes. Inhale, lengthen here. Exhale, forward fold. Elbows out, slightly back. 
Heart forward, shoulders to up to the hips. Round your heels. Some weight at the balls of your feet. Exhaling for three. Two more breaths. Exhale. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale as your head to your waist. Inhale, rise all the way up. Hands out to the teeth. And exhale, step top your mat, which is somewhat sticky. So we're going to do a balance here. Last week was for trussing the tree, so you can bend your right leg and open and place it into tree. Hands are half centre over your head. Or if you choose today, so hold your big toe, extend forward. Tall here, lower that right, sorry, that right hip, whether you're in tree or in this pose. If you're in tree, bring your hands back to your heart, bring your hands back to your waist, and then release your hands, extend your foot forward. Gently rotate both thighs, turn your head to the ceiling. So that's two, just three breaths here. So inhale, lift, and exhale, other side. So inhale, whether it's tree, or holding big toe, extending, perhaps knees bent, perhaps even holding your knee. Try and grab your toe in time. Roll that left hip. Turn your head up, that lean back. Another breath. You're in tree and your hands are over your head, bring them back to your heart centre. On the following breath, hands to your waist, so exhale, extend your foot forward, put your toe. Now everybody's internally rotating, belly in, elbow slightly back. Just another breath here, inhale, lift, and exhale, lowering down. Vinyasa to Utkatasana, so inhale. Raise hands, gaze thumbs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Ara Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Nadasana. Inhale, Uttra Mukha Savasana. Exhale, Ara Mukha. Downward facing, bend knees, look forward, walk step. We'll jump top your mat and come into Uttkatasana. Seated chair position. Get it early now for five breaths. So four more breaths here. You want to even weight between your heels and balls of your feet. Bend your knees as deep as comfortable for you. Slide, tuck your tailbone under. Still natural arch of your spine, a broadening of the shoulders. Hands can be apart or together. Two more breaths. Inhale. For five. Exhale, fold, hands to the floor, fingers widely spread. The hands are on the floor, so bend your knees if you need to, walk your feet a foot back, rise onto the balls of your feet, give some weight to your hands. A castle, so you can stay here if this is good for you. Bend your elbows, knees on your triceps or armpits, look forward, raise feet, perhaps you straighten your arms. Four more breaths. So options are to just bring your feet and knees out, and roll forward and bring some white lightness. Drop, stay there. And then in time, knees higher, with the elbows bent. And then in time, knees to the armpits and straighten your arms. If you're up, take an inhale and exhale. You can lower your feet. Step or jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Warrior one right side, so step your right foot forward. Round your right left heel, hands to the ceiling, face the thumbs. So we're what we call closing the hips here. So as you raise your hands, broaden your shoulders, grounding that rear heel and the outside edge. But the front, the, the hip of that rear heel turns forward, belly in, two more breaths, inhale, exhale, one more breath here, inhale. Exhale, you're going to open up warrior two. 
So as you open up, your hips widen and open, so you can walk that foot slightly back to along the stance, the spine directly over your hips, gaze middle finger, of that front hand, the right hand, relax your shoulders. Two, three more breaths. So your belly's drawn in, don't allow that to fall out. So it's nice core strength here. Must be four, one more breath. Knee towards your little toe. So on your next inhale, windmill your hands forward, raise your heel, and step back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. You can step the other leg forward, so I'll just turn around for you. Inhale, step your left foot forward. Raise warrior one on the left side. Once again, try not to allow that foot to roll forward. The outside edge coming down to the floor, heel grounded. This helps to move that rear hip or the right hip in this instance forward. Front knee. Just above parallel, don't go too deep here. And just by parallel, a couple of breaths. Strong rear quad, shoulders broad. So inhale for five, and exhale. And open up to warrior two. So as you open these hips, that length of hip opening, you can widen your stance. Try and bring your spine over your hips. Relaxing your shoulders for three, two more breaths. Inhale, exhale, last breath, and exhale, windmilling your hands. So inhale, windmill your hands, raise your heel, exhale, step back to Chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. I think I'm talking about seated, walk, step. In your own way, you can see that perhaps you have a prop, extend your legs. Not like a blanket, you can fold at various heights here to create a nice interior or forward tilt of the hips. Nice tall, hands by your waist. So your thighs, there's a light turning in so it's about the hips. Internally rotating so the front of your feet are flat as opposed to having your little toes forward. A couple of breaths. Stir them up, chin down, back in the neck long, tall. Inhale, raise your chin. When you come to Trianga Mukha, put the part of Pasha Matrasa, so it's three limbs forward, one back. So lean over to your left side, bend your right leg back. If you find your hips in a Side angle, perhaps a block or a blanket on the left hip, nice and tall. So we're working on this hip now, it's an internal rotation, we'll fold forward shortly, but just to see here, hip on the inside of that ankle, if you're up high, perhaps you're on the heel on a block, lower, maybe on the floor, inhale nice and tall, and exhale, folding forward here. You can grab that front leg with the opposite hand, and your right leg that's out, your right hand about 45 degrees, helping you ground that left, sorry, the left hand out, rounding that right hip, the right leg that's bent. I'll do a mirror image here, you can see in the screen, one breath, on the inhale rise, lean to your left. Bring that knee in and extend. The core strength as we did the other week. Okay, just crossing the ankles, bending knees. Inhale, slide back and lift. Exhale, one. Pause and lowering down just between left and right. Other side. Then lean over to your right. Bring your left leg back. A prop, perhaps a blanket folded to your height or block. So your right hand out, left hip grounding, left hand towards your right foot or floor. If there's pain in your knee or sharpness, create more height by sitting onto a blanket or block. 
So number four, Colby Hibble. Make this about this internal rotation of the bent leg. The grounding, two more breaths. Last breath. Four, five. Inhale, rise. Move your prop. Lean over to your right. Sorry, to your right. Bend your left leg in. Exhale. Same again. Cross your legs the other way. You're going to hold for three breaths. So, bend, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale, belly in. Heart down. For two. Straighten your arms if you can. And exhale. Lowering down. Jungle Shishasana. So, inhale, bend your right leg. Open. So when we're on the floor here, we're working on these hips. Now we're folding forward and twisting and binding. It's very much about what's happening in the hips. So without moving, when you bend that right leg back, without moving that right hip back, it stays same distance forward, just to open, knee and navel away from each other. Open that hip, forward fold, to your forward fold, maybe up high. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale. Last breath. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, draw knee in, extend. Cross legs, just for breath. Inhale, bend knees, lift, forward fold, pause slightly to straighten your arms. Exhale, lowering down. Other side, inhale, bend your left leg. Open, knee and navel away from each other, prepare. Exhale, forward fold, five breaths. Inhale, exhale, one. Remember to open your that left hip down, knee and navel away from each other. It's a tendency to focus more on this front leg forward fold. Don't forget about the hip opening, shoulders, whole body pose. Another breath. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, draw in. Just like inhale, cross your legs. Your knees narrow, feet narrow. You can use your hands, roll over your ankles onto your knees, looking from sideways. Exhale, belly towards thighs, elbows bent. Done the last few weeks, inhale, raise your hips, lower leg to the floor, helping you lift, straighten your arms, rear heel to your sitting bone for one, look forward, exhale for two, belly in, lift, and exhale, three, lowering down. Reach just the aim. C3, so inhale, bend your right leg, heel and toe out, left hand behind you, raise your right hip, exhale, fall forward. This can be enough. Perhaps you can bind that shin, perhaps you catch your hand, open your chest and hips. So once again, this is about the hip, the compressing of that right hip here. There's an opening of shoulders, an opening of the hips here as well, as you fall forward. The straight leg toes to the ceiling, but try and relax that left hip of the straight leg. Oh, one more breath. On your palm, inhale, rise. Exhale, release. Walk that foot into your thigh or knee. Raise your left hand. Exhale, hug the knee or elbow on the outside. Inhale, nice and tall. And exhale, turn over that rear shoulder. As you're here, you'll be tall here as you turn, holding your knee perhaps. Three more breaths. Belly's engaged, lifting heart. And heart turns with ex each exhale back over and you're looking over your rear shoulder. Your right shoulder. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, release. Crossing your legs, narrow again, the opposite way. Roll over your ankles. Exhale, belly your thighs. Inhale, rise, straight arms. Exhale, one. Raise that rear heel to the sitting bone. Look forward. For two. And straight both arms, inhale, exhale. 
lowering down, reaching out to the A and C on the right side, sorry, left side now. So inhale, bend your left leg, step out, right hand behind you, raise your left hand. Exhale, fold, this can be enough. Perhaps you bind, perhaps you extend that hand, bring it behind and catch. Exhale, perhaps you're folding, there's opening of the hips and chest, there's this compression of the now left hip. Three more breaths. Last breath coming up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right. Exhale, release. Crossing your legs again. Knees narrow rather than wide. Narrow, feet narrow, roll over. I'm going to try and lift all, or just one of those previous variations with your favourite leg down perhaps. Exhale, belly and thighs, sitting bones and heels touching. Tuck your belly in, inhale, lift everything. Exhale, one. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, two. Belly engaged. Inhale, exhale, lowering down. I'm going to put that together just slightly. A little vinyasa to a down dog. So inhale, cross legs, lift, draw them in, easy version, roll over your ankles, lift, ex so you're lifting here, exhale, step back, lower down, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, down facing dog, lower your knees to the floor. You can do some core strength here to the abdomen, as well as the strong arms. See their blocks, have them shoulder width apart. Just looking here, we did them a few weeks ago, little jumps. So we do eight breaths, so eight jumps. So just looking here, to try and just ground your hands into the blocks, or maybe you're not using blocks, maybe on the floor. And you'll exhale, you bend your knees. And after you bend, he's going to inhale, you're going to lift your hips as high as you can to the ceiling. The intention is to only jump about the length of your foot. So you bring control into your practice. If you find that you can't jump a foot, you're jumping further, then you're not in control of that length. So keep jumping here. So it'll be, we'll do two jumps or, or eight. So as you jump up and you come back down, it's only a foot forward. So we'll do two of those, and then after two, maybe you go deeper, you just repeat that, jump higher, control it almost halfway. If you find you go forward, more strength required in the hands, and then perhaps high, coming forward for two, and then perhaps high, coming forward and crossing your feet. So with me, on your knees, inhale, exhale to down dog. Number one, inhale. Exhale, bend knees, look forward. Inhale, hips as high as you can, and just come a length of the foot. Step back. Exhale, bend knees. Inhale, lift high, come down, control. Step back. Repeat that, or go slightly with control, slightly more, not all the way. So you're in control. Inhale. Step back, belly in, for four, inhale. Repeat in one of those two or jumping towards your hands. So exhale, bend knees, belly in, inhale, strong, soft landing. Otherwise, repeat one of those others. Don't skip those steps. Exhale, bend knees, inhale, rise, land. Two more crossing legs. Exhale, bend knees. Or just repeat. Inhale, lift. Land cross feet. One more. Belly. Inhale, lift hips. You can come seated to the top of your mat. That's very much about strong arms pushing to the floor. Abdomen as you lift your hips high rather than gravity and you're racing gravity with your feet. 
So bring your blanket again, so Bharatanasana now. Inhale, cross your feet. So feet together, nice and tall. So your pubic bone down to the floor, so slightly raised. I'm on the floor, but I've got a blanket there to help me be awareness of the tilting of my hip forward. Sternum is up, chin is down. I'm going to top my neck up to the ceiling. Relaxing my hips out, my knees out. Option is to inflate your fingers, hold your big toes, or feet open up like a book. Another breath. So it's just extend the spine. Maintain this extension. Inhale, look forward. A metre, metre and a half. Exhale, bring your heart towards that spot. So you're reaching your heart forward, not down. Your shoulders to your hips. Vakanasana. Two, three more breaths. Last breath coming up. Inhale. Exhale. So inhale, rise. Take a breath here, nice and tall. Bring that tallness extension. And then remove your prop. So, just a side view. Tall. Remove your prop. Now, posteriorly tilt your hips. So, you're rounding your lumbar spine. It's a flexion of the spine, rounding your thoracic, your upper spine, your cervical, your neck, and coming into your four pole. Maybe you're up here too high, maybe your conditioning allows you to go deeper. Four more breaths. Last breath. Inhale, rise. Exhale, knees together. And exhale. Great legs. Coming into your back, just with top of back extension. Inhale. Exhale into your back. Bend knees. Feet hip width apart. Between your feet. So you're flat, the outside edge of your feet parallel to each other. Roll your thighs in. As you exhale, bring your belly in. Inhale, raise your hips. Feet are flat, so internal rotation of thighs. You can inflate your fingers underneath or hold the outside of the mat as you extend. Formal breath. So feet flat, don't allow your feet to toes to creep out. Try and have the outside edge of your feet close to parallel to each other. There's a lengthening your lower back by internally rotating and Belly to belly, lowering, lifting your back, and internal rotation is a wide and sacrum. And inhale and exhale, lowering down. Two more back bends. So we'll do, repeat that two more times. Or perhaps coming onto your head and head lightly. Or perhaps rising into the foot under us, straighten your arms and come deeply into practice. So, Whichever variation you do, internally rotate, draw belly in, prepare. A little second version for, and then the third. Inhale, on the top of your head. Elbows are in rather than out. Light the of your head. Thighs internally rotating. So you're tilting your heart towards the floor. The back of your heart towards the floor. Pretty weak. Four more breaths. Inhale, chin your chest, keep your upper your hips, lower your shoulders, gently lower your back, upper middle, lower back to the floor. Take a breath. So one more back bend. Go deeper, go shallower, have a rest. Internally rotate your thighs, draw your belly in. Prepare and so bring your hands to where you're going. Your hands inside your ears, elbows to the ceiling rather than the outside, and inhale into your pose. Five breaths. Two more breaths.
So when you inhale, bring it to your chest, lower your shoulders, lower your upper, middle, lower back. Raise your knees, hold your knees for breath. Spin them out. And draw your knees into your chest slightly for another breath. Hands under your knees for breath. And if you rock and roll to seat or just come to seat. You roll on your spine if that's healthy for you, otherwise, just come to seated. We'll forward fold again, so with your blanket. Option is to maybe just bend your knees, a little flexion of the spine, We're coming into Pashtun Uttanasana. Ten breaths. Come to listening to your breath. The inhale, expanding of the chest, the ribs, shoulder blades, upper belly. And the exhale, the contracting, relaxing, letting go of that area. Your lower abdomen below your navel slightly contracted. And listening to your breath. Aware of the expanding, contracting, aware of your lower abdomen drawn in. One more breath. Inhale, rise. Exhale. You come to shoulder stand. You have a blanket like I have. You have one or two or three blankets. You can fold it otherwise. You can do it without a blanket. But still without a blanket, you have pressure on your the back of your neck. Stay in something called Vipari to cry. So have your head off the blanket. You can bring your hips onto a block. Or with the shoulder stand, bring your hands to the small of your back and feet to the ceiling. Extend your feet to the ceiling, Stay straight up. You might find two or three brackets work better for you. So if there's a light lift of the feet up, there's a light drawing of your legs together, not a squeeze, maybe from time to time you adjust your hands. Creating a tallness here. If you're on a block, just stay on the block. Enjoy. If you're in Salama Sangasa and you support the shoulder stand, exhale your feet over your head. Maybe they touch the floor. If they do, you can release your hands into lace. Otherwise, keep your hands on the small of your back. Straighten your legs, lift hips to the ceiling. A few more breaths. Last breath. Exhale, bend your knees, maybe to your forehead, you'll be side your ears, try to be nice enough, point your toes. So three, two more breaths. Exhale, reach your hands, use them with brakes and gently and roll yourself until your feet are pointing to the ceiling. Those that have a block, remove the block and then gently lower your feet. You can bend your knees, take pressure off your back, straighten one leg and the other. And come into counter pose from there. That's the asana, so rise onto your elbows, deviation here of fish pose. Raise your chest, tilt your head back, place on the floor, remove your blanket if you choose. Engage quads and belly, create lightness in your elbows. If your head doesn't touch the floor, move your hands closer to your feet. Three, two more breaths. So 
can now bring your weight back to your elbows, inhale, look forward, raise your backs off the ground and exhale, gently lowering down, back to your back, inhale, raise your hands over your head, exhale, inhale, raise your hands to the ceiling, with the seated, move your prop if you have one. So vinyasa to, to down dogs or cross legs, maybe use your hands, lift, that's the inhale, exhale, walk, step or jump back to chaturanga, inhale to an upward facing dog, exhale to down dog, lower your knees, lower your elbows, put them here. If you have a headstand practice of last week, go there. Remember last week I was talking about being light on your head, so more strength in the shoulders, the rest, interlace your fingers. Now tuck your, one of your little fingers under. Your elbows are shoulders apart. You can find that by just grabbing your elbows and then in place with your hands. Tuck your toes under. Take an inhale. Your head will be off the ground. Those working on strength here, inhale. Exhale to down. With your chest towards your thighs. Your forearms internally rotating. Belly in. Head is off the ground. Shoulders broad. Three, two more. Last breath. So if you're here, on your inhale, bring your chin to your thumbs. Exhale, coming back, heart towards your thighs. Four more. At any time, shoulder, I mean, child's pose is next. Exhale is two. Again, inhale. Exhale to open your armpits. Tilt your heart to your thighs. Inhale. Exhale. Turn your rotate your forearms, I should say. Inhale. Exhale for five. Now hold for five more. Open your armpits. Heart toward your thighs. Look to your thighs. Open shoulders. For three. Just two more breaths. It's in your headstand. Slowly control. Coming down. And one more breath. Inhale and exhale. Lower your knees. Sit on your heels and come to child's pose. Extend your arms out. Broaden your shoulders. And lengthen your spine. Observing your body expanding and contracting with the breath. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Step your hands forward. Inhale, rise into your hands and knees. Take your toes under. Exhale to a down dog. Inhale, come top of your mat seated. Moving one leg, the other. Have to try and do that jump and come to seated. Once you're seated, extend your legs. Coming onto your back, Shavasana, exhale onto your back. You can bend your knees here, this can be nice. Your knees together, turn your rotating your thighs slightly. Or straighten your legs. So now, externally rotate your shoulders. As you do that, your biceps roll out. Your forearms roll out because of the external rotation and drawing the shoulders to the floor. And your palms open up to the ceiling because of the external rotation of the shoulders. Now relax the shoulders, palms might turn slightly in. You want to emphasize on relaxing the shoulders, they're quite tight there often. You now your hips allow your hips to open, relax, your thighs roll out, shins, and your feet just flop out naturally. You choose. It's nice to have a bolster under your knees or bending your knees for those perhaps or some back issues there. It's a nice place to be. Take a nice inhale through your nose. A soft, gentle sigh as you open your mouth. Just gentle and soft as you exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale through your nose. 
Bring it out softly. Exhale. Connecting, breathing there. Now, no engaging with your throat or your belly or pelvic floor. Just allow whatever shape you're creating now to be. And I'll be back at you shortly.
the green is back to the red. Bring this up to the bottom. Moving to your hands and feet. Cutting the jaw or eyebrows. Raise your hands over your head for a little stretch. Hang your knees to your chest. Roll to one side for a few breaths. Seated position of your choice, sitting up nice and tall. Think about your lower abdomen to create tallness in your seat once you're there. Hands in prayer position. Just chanting on to close and join in or just listen. Move your right hand, exhale. Inhale to your. Some start sucking on the blood. May all beings everywhere attain happiness, may all beings everywhere attain freedom. Namaste. Thanks once again for having me. Subscribe to the YouTube channel perhaps if you like it. Beautiful day and see you next time. Thank you.